BD Gaming here. Today, we have an Extreme Tech Hit Showcase coming at you. So we're on Browse's account and we are jumping into the Transforming Goku event to really showcase this hit. He does not have the fully optimal team, but it's a really good showcase for the hit, so here we go. Yes, so this hit is, as many of you know, is now coming to JP. So this is why we are taking the opportunity to showcase what he can do. Yeah, so when he is coming to JP during Golden Week, and I believe Global does not get a Golden Week, I think that's a JP exclusive thing. And this is a really good opportunity for them to release hit, which they're doing. And I can't wait for JP to have hit because there isn't a lot of videos out on him. So this will be really nice. Hit in and of himself is a very underrated unit, um, especially here with, J uh, so, so right here, this is the perfect rotation to start off this video with. So in our second slot we have Jiren, and in our first slot we have Hit. The cool thing about Hit is that with his passive, he has the guaranteed critical hit whenever his opponent is stunned. And to start it off with, Jiren, with his passive ability, he stuns the first enemy that he comes across if they are able to be stunned. Tapping on Doken is very hard, as we can see. So right here, we're going to see the full passive ability of Hit and pretty much his max out damage for right now. But this is going to be a great rotation. And the great thing as well that adds on to Hit's damage this turn is uh, the Kefla in the back. She gives an attack and defense boost of 30%. All right, I'm excited to see this. I am too. I haven't seen too much Hit. 2.6. 2.65 oh. and we get a guaranteed crit. Oh my gosh. And this is only a one dupe hit. That's incredible. SA10. Wow. 2.55 wow. million damage. Now the only complaint I do have about this hit is with the way Doken events are set up, the stun, the stunning does go away the further on you get into the events, which happens. But once you do come up against an enemy that can be stunned, or even can't be stunned, he does great damage when that doesn't happen. He is just going to show out. Yes, he will. And as you can see, we also have the Champa on this team, and that Champa gets a Doken Awakening. Which, the, the Champa gets a Doken Awakening when Hit gets released. So JP players rejoice, as his Doken Awakening is very, very good. Uh, his passive ends up becoming Universe 6 Allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 40% which is the highest attack, uh, attack and defense buff for a support unit, aside from the mono type uh, supports that are only available on the uh, mono banners. Yes, so here we go with this. He, well, what's the uh, back unit do? I, I can't remember. Back unit. <laughs> so the back unit, we have the Boda Magetta. He is a banner unit that gets released on his banner as well. He, in and of himself, is a very good unit. He can hit for easily over 1 million. He links very well with the tech hit with Infighter and Warriors of Universe 6 and Fierce Battle. So, on that last rotation, we saw Browse's hit get up to an attack set of 1.6, which that was no dupes, and that is without the stun as well. So hit is a very good unit that you should summon for, in my opinion. And he has not been back on any banners. He has not. He's only been on his one banner, unfortunately. I would love for him to come back because I really want Dupes because he is an incredible unit. And so as you saw it right there, with no um, passive or no support, he was at a 1.5 attack set, which is very good still, in my opinion, for a Doken Fest unit. And he does have a chance to stun on his super attack, so if you can invest additionals into him, that will activate his passive after the, his own stun. Yes. Uh, yes, so he is a uh, dual category lead, is that correct? Yes, he is, I believe, the first non-LR dual category lead in the game because Hit's leader skill is Universe 6 category um, plus Universe 6 category key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 170% or Universal Survival Saga category key plus 3 and HP attack and defense plus 150%. His, his Universe 6 uh, category leader skill is the first 170% lead all across the board. And I believe Hit uh, has ushered in a new era of leader skills in future units. Yes, it'll be very interesting because uh, the LR Frieza and Goku ha is the 177% lead for uh, Universe 7 fighters, and but they're an LR. 
they are an LR. This is just simply a Doken Fest exclusive. Yes, 1.5 million attack stat right there. That is very nice to see. And plus his super attack and is just stun. beautiful. It is it is one of the nicest looking super attacks in the game. Let's see if we can get let's try and get a super here with Chompa to show off a little bit of what he can do. We'll get him on the back end. He only needs two key. I bet we can get off the super with Chompa here in the back. Also, he also does maintain his previous passive, which is a medium chance of attack plus 200%. And if that activates, that could be a good bit of damage. Yeah, it's kind of like the Beerus cards, the Chompa is. Oh, We're up to 2.1 million. 2. 2. 2. million with Chompa support linked with Jiren. Oh, man. What is he going to hit? Can we get a crit, possibly? We cannot, no, but he does but stun that's him. Good. He is yeah. stunned. Now, the, now Jiren should crit here because yes. of the stun. Hopefully, Jiren, Jiren gets a guaranteed yes. crit for because Hopefully, of the stun. he doesn't finish him. Okay, good, because we want to see what this Chompa can do. Got the 284,000. I don't have any uh, Kai's into him. His super attack is still at one, because I simply just don't have enough Kai's to invest in him. So Hid's best friend for the team is the Strength Frost, which is on his banner, which we happen to not pull, but Frost can get a really good attack stat. And the key thing about Frost is he stuns, so that if you put Frost in front of Hit and he gets his stunning ability off, off of his super, then you can get your maximum damage out of your hit, which is really nice. We have a 1.75 million attack stat from hit. This is going to be the killing shot on Super Saiyan God Goku. We only have one more stage left after this. And hit again with another crit on his super attack. He has, he has a high chance to crit on each super attack he has, which just helps him out even more. And especially that also helps out Jiren, as, uh, as hit has a high chance to stun. That helps out Jiren even more because Jiren gets a guaranteed crit whenever an enemy is stunned. Now, will you check out here what uh, your friend hit has in the potential system? My friend hit has one dupe, and he is sitting at okay nine additional. So let's hope we can get additional here if he stuns. Nine oh, additional. you can't stun on this last one. Never mind. Sorry. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna ignore Ben's stupid comment. <clears throat> We have hit in the first spot up to a 1.95 million attack stat. Let's see if we can get a crit out of them here. Let's see. Gosh, what a beautiful super attack. It's so nice. Additional, additional, additional super. There we go. We like to see that. That is what we like to see. Too bad he was not stunned. Yes, that is, but that's alright. When you can deal about 1.3 million damage on Let's see how these type of events. That is very nice super tech. 31k. 31,000 wow. super tech off of a fairly new event that hits extremely hard. I'd say that is very good tanking potential. And Jiren gets a dupe system crit. That was awesome. And it looks like our support, Super Saiyan Rage Berserker Kefla, is going to be finishing off Goku here. Yes, yeah, she did. And she does with 138,000 attack stat. All right, guys. That's all for the Tech Hit Showcase.